Hi, my name is Lemonation from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Kennen. All right, on Kennen, I go hybrid pen reds, flat HP yellows, flat ability power blues, and flat ability power, one flat ability power quint, and two flat armor quints. On Kennen, my default mastery page is 0921, but since he is completely manaless, I tend to, I, I don't get any of the mana things, I get full. F- Full move speed, full fleet of foot. I get scout, and then I get one point in vampires. Okay, level one, you want Q. Level two, you want W. Level three, you usually want E, but sometimes you want a second point in W. And then level four, you want whichever one you didn't get right there. And then from there, you want to max W all the way first, and then E second. And the reason you're maxing W first is because it's... At first, I've lowered the cooldown very effectively, but you are able to get it off with basically any of your abilities. Like if you're queuing them, you can W them right away. If you're getting your, your third auto attack with your passive, you can W them right away. When you're ulting them, you're gonna the W's going to hit the, everyone in your ult. So W is just the easiest thing to reliably hit, and the cooldown goes down dramatically as you're maxing it. So it's definitely what you want to max first. And the reason you max E second rather than Q is because it just gives you a lot of tankiness, mobility. It's just like a more of like a support type skill than Q, which is more just like just straight damage, which you don't you don't need outside of laning phase. You just want the E. All right, so you start out Spell Thieves and full HP bots, minions you can buy, and a Warding Totem. And you basically want to leave just Spell Thieves like that the entire game. You're never going to upgrade it. The first thing you usually want to get is Sightstone. Situationally, you could get Moby Boots if you have like a, a very good play you can make early. Like, say, you go back to 800 gold, you see the top laner is like super <laughs> overextended. Something like that is something you could go Moby Boots real quick, but usually you want Sightstone. Now, for your... Choice of boots, you have two choices, either Moby Boots or CDR Boots. And I think it's it's a big trade-off. Moby Boots you want for the early ro- roaming ability, and just it's better for getting around mid-game and things like that. CDR Boots is better for team fighting and better against like long, drawn-out team fights where there's a lot of tanks in the game. So I would say try to wait for Boots of Lucidity if you see like the enemy team has a ton of tanks that, and you just aren't going to be able to like, burst them down since it's going to help out more in that situation. Now past that... For your first big item, you have a few different choices. Righteous Glory is a very good choice, even though it gives mana, just because it allows you to initiate on the enemy team. Uh, Aegis is always a good item if you... Like, someone on your team is going to want to get Aegis at some point, so getting that either is your first or second item if your jungler's not getting it is good. Rhylize is, is actually a good choice for Kennen since it gives you a lot more CC, and it's quite easy for you to apply it. And Zion is, of course, a good choice at some point for Kennen. So I would say that... If you're the primary initiator and no one else on your team is getting Righteous Glory, I would prioritize that over any of these items. Secondary, I would probably prioritize Aegis if no one else is getting that on your team. And if neither of those are needed, then I would say Ryle is the best choice. As far as Soul Q goes, Kennen is a solid pick in Soul Q. He's nothing like amazing, but he's definitely someone who can carry the game. You primarily would want to pick him with Kalista. He synergizes extremely well with Kalista, and the lane can Kalista's probably the most brutal lane in existence so if you see a Kalista that's definitely like the the very best situation you can have for a Kennen. Past that high poke AD carries like maybe an Ezreal Aleutian with his Qs are also quite good with Kennen, just not nearly as good as Kalista is. For laning in Kennen, you want to basically th- just throw Qs at the AD carry or the sport whenever it's up, try to get some rest that way but your primary goal is Charging up your W passive, it's every five attacks kind of gets bonus damage on his W and applies his uh, a proc of his stun thing. So you want to auto attack the creeps until you ha- have that charged up, and then look to auto attack the AD carry specifically. Because whenever the support trades with the AD carry, you come out ahead since the support has four pots, the AD carry only has one. So you want to throw your W or throw your passive auto attack on him with that proc and then W him immediately. And if you can, get a Q as well, which would get a, a stun, that would be perfect. But even if you don't, just the auto attack W is going to be a, a good trade, and you want to keep doing that whenever you have it up. As far as team fights go, if you if you have Righteous, you want to throw that onto... You want to be near your team so it can hit as many people as possible. And then you basically E in and ult right away, and try to cast your W when your ult is on the maximum number of enemy players. Because it, it's going to... Regardless of if you have uh, your passive proc on them or not... The W is going to get applied to them now. They, that's a recent change. So you just want to make sure your ult is hitting as, like, on as many people as possible in your W. 
And then basically from that point, you just want to get as many stuns off as possible. Cannon does have quite a bit of energy issues, so you want to make sure you're getting either stuns off or hitting them with your E. They're the only ways you can actually get energy back. Especially during laning phase, you'll be running out of energy quite a bit. And you always want to make sure that you have enough energy for your E to actually escape if gank ever happens. It costs 100 energy, which is half your pool. Thanks for watching this champion guide to Kennen. You can check out my other guides at lowclass.com.